Every year, the Aerospace Maintenance Competition sets the stage for current and future technicians to showcase their skills. This year's competition was the largest one yet, with 72 teams competing in nearly 30 events. The competition also made history this year with the participation of its first all-female teams. This year, we're happy and honored to have not one, not two, but three all-female teams competing. We have Elevate Aviation, which is a team from Canada. We have United Airlines, the Chicks Fix uh, coming from them. And then the third female team is from Pratt & Whitney, and they're calling themselves the Wise Women. We were invited to this competition and we thought it would be a great opportunity to bring together five uh, AMEs from Canada and then we would be able to show everyone back home how exciting it was, how they worked as a team, who they are and I don't think enough women know about it. So this is a great opportunity to show them what it's all about. I had the privilege of being at the MRO here last year as part of recruiting for United and getting to see the competition kind of gave me an idea that Maybe United should put together a female team? Uh, we actually just met um, a day before the competition, so that was quite interesting to uh, work with females that we've never worked with before. Because we're kind of all over the place, so I have my one co-worker with me, so I've known her for about four years now. But there's two girls with us that are from the military. Uh, we met them on the Sunday night before the competition. And then one of the other girls, uh, Elena, she's from Harbor Air. We met her on the flight down. We were able to get together for a few days in San Francisco, a couple days in Houston, and a couple days in Cleveland, and then on Friday, Saturday here in Orlando. So we have not been together very, very long, actually. You don't see enough women in this field, and it was a chance for us to get the, the spotlight on what we do for a living. And, um, and so, uh, of course, we had to do it. To show more that it's not just the pilots that gets the, it's in aviation, it's mechanics too. We fix the planes so you guys can fly. Yes, it's great that there's more female now in the industry. It's really amazing when you come to these kind of competitions and you realize that not only are men, the only mechanics here, we also have some females that are great and opening doors for many other females. As rookies to the competition, the all-female teams overcame a variety of challenges over the three days of events. We were a little um, apprehensive because some of the tasks are some uh, things that we haven't done before. And with the military, we're very specialized, so we don't necessarily get cross-trained in a lot of stuff. So arriving here and seeing what we're doing and everything like that has just been a very fantastic surprise. Uh, learning as we go on new equipments we have never touched or even seen, actually. It's been really good. We've had our ups, we've had our downs. Um, we're just trying to figure out our strengths and our weaknesses and try to um, do the best we can, but we're having a blast and that's all that matters. It's been really exciting. It's a lot of nerves in the air, but as soon as you get to actually doing the task and performing it, the nerves kind of go away and you realize that this is what you like to do. Competitors on all three teams say the presence of more women in the competition will be beneficial to the industry. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's been all about from the beginning was for us to be able to meet them and encourage them and let them know that, you know, this is a great career. So. I've actually met with the Elevate team, so I was I'm very um, glad that I was able to talk to some of them and give them some advice on my personal experience of what was going on. Right. So it was actually kind of right. cool. It was. It was very cool. They're trying to help us out and give us uh, good advice because they have been training together and we haven't. So that's been really good to just get together with them and they're, they're giving us tips on how to uh, perform better. Now that they have one competition under their belts, the teams are ready to come back even better next year. Our bosses have asked us to come back and take notes and basically recommend or not recommend uh, if they put a Canadian Forces team together and send them down or a couple. So uh, we will absolutely be recommending that they do this uh, in multiple teams if they can afford it. Yeah. We're going to maybe try to even find like a Westjet female team to come down and just try to get more and more female to come down because it's really fun meeting new friends and it's a great time here. What we'd like to see is the all military team come in of the women and I think I can see that happening. It's, it's been great, uh, great so far for them and then also maybe another team put together civilian AMEs from Canada and I think once we get back and spread the word about how exciting it was, what a great experience it's been, it's not going to be hard to put together teams. In addition to Elevate, Chicks Fix and Wise Women, the competition also saw women participating on a variety of other teams.
it seems the word's getting out that uh, if a young lady wants to work on aircraft, the only obstacle that is in front of her are the ones that she puts there, and the AMC is here to help knock down the remaining.